Now, he's been making his homemade barbecue sauce for years, but since appearing on the television show Dragon's Den, Levi Root's hot and spicy sauce is now being sold in one of Britain's top supermarkets. To gain the interest of the show's investors, he sang for his supper. It's got some peppers and some herbs and spice. Me want some reggae, reggae sauce. Hot reggae, reggae sauce. So nice with your fried chicken. Make burgers finger licking. And rice and peas and fish. Put some reggae sauce on your list. Thank you. Oh, and that was Peter Jones there who actually invested in that. Levi joins us now, along with Mr Jones. Uh, good morning to you both. So, Levi, how excited are you? Oh, over the moon, can I say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Explain everything, it's like, you know, just over the moon, yeah. And Peter, was it the singing that did it for you? It was, yeah, a little bit of the singing. When he first came up the stairs, I, I, was, I actually thought the producers were giving a bit of a break. I thought a bit of light entertainment. <laughs> um, but actually, it, it, was, it was Levi, absolutely great character. And, and an original way, obviously, Levi, to, to pitch your idea. Did, did you come up with it on your own, or was it a family thing? What, who, who decided that you were going to do that? Well, it was my mum at the end of the day. Um, I, I actually um, wondered about going on to the show, because I, I know what it entails. Um, people told me about it, and I yeah. asked her, I said to her, Mum, shall I go and embarrass the family secret? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Be sneered at yes, by, those, yeah. by those people. Yeah, and she just <laughs> said, son, you know, just go and you say your prayers, you read your Psalms 23, she said to me, and, and you knock them dead, you go and slay those dragons, and here I have a, a pet dragon with me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And he, he's not too bad, is he? He's, no, he's, he's great, he's fantastic. He's been very helpful. And, and this is a secret recipe, as I understand it, from your granny, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. I'm from a small village in Jamaica called Clarendon. And um, we had a kind of an open house where people would sort of walk in off the street and she would say, give them some food and send them off. And, you know, we would feed them and people would go off. And she taught me to cook, you know, she taught me to use herbs and spices and that sort of thing. And, and it's just stayed with me all my life. But it's not going to be secret for very long, is it? Because you're, you're not going to be able to churn out all the sauce that you need. John's going to try some. Go on. The ingredients. John. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we could knock a bit of this stuff uh, down yeah. my way, yeah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Well, you, you try a little bit and just uh, just see how it goes, John. Uh, so, no, it's going to be made in a, in a factory, isn't it? In a it? factory, yeah. yeah. So they're going to know the secret of your granny's spices. <laughs> We've what? got them under confidentiality. Yes. Have Absolutely. you really? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Are you joking? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh. It's a real, it is a secret source, so we've got to protect it. And it's Levi's IP, so intellectual property rights, so we've got to make sure we protect him. And what about this, this song, the song that you sang? That's, that is also available to it's buy available, along yes. with your in source. Fences, yeah, and, and I must say, the proceeds from the songs will be going to charity for the Red Nose Day, so I'm very proud of that, because I think the people is just really taking to me, and I've got to give something back, so I'm, I'm doing that for them. Yeah, and you took to him, of course, Peter Watt. Excellent. Yes. Thumbs up. You see, it's got the Stapleton thumbs up, which is always a good thing. He doesn't do that lightly, I can tell, <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, so, so, Peter, um, what about the, the song? How did that, where did that come from? Well, I mean, obviously not the song itself, but I'm talking about the, um, the deciding to actually sell that as well. Well, it was actually, it was, this was Levi, when he came up the stairs, it was part of his pitch. And do you know what? It was so compelling, listening to him sing this song. He's, he's got, obviously got a great voice. Um, and it was really compelling. We actually, and he actually said, look, I'm going to make this into a song. <laughs> so this was Levi's brainchild. He was the one that came up with this. And he was basically putting music with your food and the two things go together. So he came up with it. And that's why he's decided as well to give it to charity, I think, which is great. Yeah. But it's a, it really is a fantastic song. I've been singing it for the last two or three weeks. And actually, it is annoying because it just <laughs> continually goes <laughs> round in your head. It's annoying oh, really? for me because I'm going to keep singing it. But I do it because I love it. It's, it's bringing everything to me. And how fantastic. I just think this is such a cool story. Great. And, I'm, and, you. and presumably your investment, well secure. Absolutely. Thanks, Peter. Well done, Thank you, Levi. Very good indeed. Can you speak? Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> just it That's just about it. From